My boyfriend said he wishes he was with my sister. I have been with my boyfriend for about four years. I met him through my sister who's been his best friend since freshman year. She's a lesbian and getting married to her girlfriend in October. Me and her have always been close, the usual sibling stuff. Sometimes we fought but always resolved it because she's my best friend. Our parents have always been supportive of both of us, and when she came out our parents basically said, oh yeah, we know. When can we meet her? I've always had some issues with guys getting close to me for my sister, because she is the prettier and more outgoing between us. But she's always helped me build up my confidence and made jokes about me becoming lesbian to avoid the awkward guys. My boyfriend always flattered me, told me how I'm his one and only, how he can't wait to start a family with me, all that stuff. He was my first kiss, the one I lost my virginity to. All the cliche Hallmark movie stuff. Well last night after we had finished having sex he randomly said, you know, sometimes I pretend when we're ficking that I'm with your sister. He saw the way I looked at him I guess and immediately backpedaled saying, a few years ago, not anymore, I don't know why I said that I'm sorry, and kept apologizing and trying to make what he said less bad I guess. I asked him straight up if he was cheating on me with my sister and he denied it, saying that he was just high off the sex, and didn't know why he said that because it wasn't true. I'm currently at my sister and her girlfriend's apartment, sobbing my eyes out, because I don't know what I did wrong. I thought I had finally found a guy who liked me, not my sister but I was wrong. I feel like I've thrown out years of my life for him for absolutely nothing. He's been blowing up my phone and at first it was I'm so sorry I didn't mean it, come back babe but now he's saying stuff like, I knew you were the crazy one you can take a joke. I feel like I don't even know my boyfriend anymore. Follow or subscribe. Update. Well, I met up with my boyfriend at our apartment a day after my first post, along with my sister and her GF, who I'll be calling Mel. He immediately asked why we were having an intervention and interrupting his game night. I asked him to turn the computer off and come to the living room, and then minutes later he did, after finishing a Fortnite match. I asked him if what he said he actually meant, and he asked my sister and her girlfriend to leave, so they went into the kitchen. He said he didn't mean it, and he already forgot it happened, even though I haven't been home in four days. I told him to pack his shit and leave, and he refused, and got up to do who knows what. My sister and Mel came in, and told him to go. He again refused, saying it was, his house. I asked where his name was on the rent and he said it didn't matter because he lived there. So I took the initiative, for once in my life, yay me, and went into our room, pulled out a duffel bag and started packing for him. My ex started following me, getting panicked and saying he would pack but to just leave the room so he could. Well I didn't trust him with my stuff as I have a lot of antique jewelry and stuff. I'm a thrifty gal, what can I say? Which I definitely didn't want him to take. In the bottom of the duffel bag was several condom wrappers and unopened ones. No, we never put our condom trash into a duffel bag after sex. No, didn't loan it to a friend. Whatever could have happened. You may be wondering, grasping your phone in anticipation. The answer? He's a cheating piece of shit. He saw I found it and claimed he was sleeping with my sister, you know, my lesbian sister. That sister. Mel me, and my sister told him to cut the bullshit and he had five minutes to pack before we called the cops. And my sister, the lesbian, said if anything was missing we would file a report. After he left to who knows where, me and the girls had a cry fest. Okay, just me. And my sister kept telling me she would never sleep with anyone I was with, male or not, which I obviously believe. He's been blowing up my phone, my sister's phone, Mel's phone. I don't know how he got it. With him saying he's homeless and he wants me back, or wants my sister, and calling Mel a... A fucking sinner we're. He's been blocked and hopefully out of our lives for good. Thank you guys for giving me the support and strength to leave him. It means a lot that strangers I never have met would care. Stay safe everyone. Follow or subscribe.